What's going on guys, Nick here, and this time we're going to be talking about Thor Ragnarok. So recently, Taika Waititi, the director of the film, spoke to Collider.com after the San Diego Comic Con panel for the film, and he specifically spoke about the runtime for the film, which is something that's always a topic of discussion among people before the film is released, you know, if it's going to be a longer film, or if it's going to be shorter, or what exactly is going to be in the theatrical version versus whatever ends up on home release, whether it's like an extended thing or there's scenes that ended up being cut out of the film and what he revealed was actually something pretty interesting he said right now the current cut of the film is about a hundred minutes which is roughly one hour and 40 minutes he says it's not going to be a very very long film I think that stories are better when you leave them wanting more and this film moves at a clip it's got stuff happening all the time I think people are gonna still feel exhausted by the end of it they've been on this big journey and stuff so I don't think we need the film to be three hours so obviously this is pretty interesting because as you've seen in both of the trailers, it looks like there is a lot of stuff going on in this film. You know, you have some elements of the Planet Hulk storyline involved with Sakaar and Hulk in the Gladiator Arena and also Smart Hulk in the film. Uh, you have Hela's siege of Asgard and her trying to start Ragnarok. You have the Fenris Wolf, you have Surtur, you have all this stuff. And also we do know that Thor and Loki will be taking a trip to Earth to find Odin and meet Doctor Strange to help with them. So this does seem like a lot of stuff to get done in 100 minutes, and this would also make the film the shortest MCU runtime out of all of their slate of films that have come out in the past. So very interesting stuff, and it's a bit ironic too because this news also dropped about a day or two after it was said that Avengers Infinity War would actually probably be the longest MCU film running over 2 hours and 30 minutes. So leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you guys think about this? Do you think that a short shorter runtime for Thor Ragnarok is fine, or do you think they might need to, to beef up the time a bit to get some more of the character development and scenes out there? Because like I said, we do have a lot of new stuff in this film. Obviously we're going to be introducing Scourge the Executioner, Hela, and Valkyrie, along with the Grand Master, and a couple other side characters that are part of Thor's universe and Planet Hulk. Personally, I think it could be fine if executed properly and all the scenes are used efficiently. As always, thanks again for watching. My name is Nick, and for more on Thor, Ragnarok, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe, subscribe to Hybrid Network.